What's up everybody, it's Skid, I'm going to be doing some Elden Ring PvP, going to be doing some duels with the Bloodhounds thing, and this weapon's basically the Wolf Knight Curve Sword from DS3, but on steroids, it's fucking jacked. And it's a really good weapon, I thought it would be when I very first saw people using it, but I'm just now getting around using it myself. And you'll see why in a fucking second, the damage is- Oh, that was anime! Woo! Now that's what this PvP could be all the time, if it were fucking cool. God damn, that was clean. Holy shit. Gotta give him the point down of respect, gotta put the cherry on top. Man, that was actually kinda cool. What do you know? Elden Ring PvP being cool? I couldn't. And as some of you may have seen that last fight, this thing's weapon art has insanely fucking high damage. This bitch nukes health bars. It's fucking outrageous. And uh, I've always liked curved greatswords, I really liked them in DS2 and 3. And this game keeps it up. And I've just drank in the Polyjuice Potion that gives me, uh, pretty much no magical damage whatsoever. So, I'm good to trade with this guy. I'm fine with this. This is a suitable arrangement for me. I think, uh, I think we can make this work. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's got the Placid Douche Sex Weapon Art. But I have an Avalon, baby. And there it is. I didn't hit him, and no universe did that hit him, but because it's Elden Ring, you know, it's GG's. It's a big fat GG right there. Easy. Let's see what we have this time. No, oh, someone using the Bulging Codpiece armor set. Nice. What's that called? Like the Outrider, Forsaken, Forgotten, it fucking Bamboozled Knight set. I don't know what it's called. It's some like disheveled knight though. I, I don't know what it's called. Forsaken? I, I don't know. It's a cool ass fucking armor set though, he's switching in between the caped and non-caped version just to flex on me, I think. Yeah, that was pretty sick, right? I, I guess he thought not. <laughs> now there's a move that you can pull off with this sword that I've not shown you guys yet. You fuck fondlers have not seen shit for piss just yet. And neither is this man. This man eats his own soiled diapers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a lowly Vike Spear user, but it's fine. I don't give a shit about his glint of the good fairy bubble, I'll get rid of it. Now this next maneuver requires the Avalon, and uh, I'm gonna try and get him to like, get a little bit comfortable pressuring me, let's see. Oh no, oh no, I, I don't know how to properly punch our ones, oh shit. Oh you're really a gamer here, oh man. But yeah, I'd like to call this the Cosby maneuver, just roofie the bitch and then bam. Zip the zap and put and pop and he's dead. That's it. You just put him to sleep with the fuck crossbow and it confirms a hit. Get ready for the attack. I'm about to give your dad my nutsack. Oh, and we're fighting someone using the toad helmet. Fucking fantastic. The people that wear this helmet are the type of people that write weird deviant art fanfiction about getting cornholed by a velociraptor while their senile grandma walks around outside doing Gangnam style completely unattended. Just the worst types of people. You know what, if you wear this helmet and you feel called out by this post, um, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, I just fuck them. But at least the guy's got a Mimi name, right? That's a hip and hap and a trendy and spindy name, right? Nihil? Isn't that what the, um, fucking, like, pedophile boss says? That's a really good sword. He could have roll caught me there. Elden Ring fucking netcode, everybody. That was fucking phenomenal. I had like one of the coolest moments this game will ever produce in my first fight tonight, and one of the worst right there. <laughs> it's terrible. Holy shit. I came in here for a fucking duel, and I instead got visited by the Celestial Emissary of Dirty Dishes. This guy has got the Saucy Saucer Shield. You know hold on. Give me a second to uh, rut through my rut sack here. Let me find... There we go. Okay. Just in case this dickhole decides to watch me from behind his shield exclusively, I'm gonna keep those bad boys on. If any of you are having trouble with uh, tower shield turtles, that's a really, really good method of getting around them. My god, this man is dedicated. That guy was so dedicated to drinking, he puts lower class white trash dads to shame with his dedication to the bottle. I really don't know for what though. Oh, sweet baby Jesus lying in the manger. This guy is gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these fights. Why do people prolong these fights when they have no chance? Not a snowball's chance in hell of beating me. But look, they just rolled around like their fucking IV is hooked up to their gaming PC. I don't understand. 
Yeah, I wonder what emote I'm gonna give him. Hmm. Well, hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen. We have bare feet on the premises. All you Dark Souls fans, hide your boners. Because uh, it's about to get swifty. However, my sex drive goes... Plop. Right in the fucking toilet when I see all these katanas. Oh my god. This man is, like, the poster boy for drawing really fucking bad Dragon Ball Z fan art in the inside of his agenda at school. That's just what this screams to me, when people dress like this and use these types of weapons. Like, if it was for a meme or a cosplay, I get it, but you don't have to be barefoot to have a Melania cosplay. She literally has, like, thigh highs. Like, if you're gonna be out here being an e-girl, or an e-boy, or whatever you want to do, they literally have thigh highs in Elden Ring. It's her, it's her leggings. It's her prosthesis. You, like, rip her legs off and wear them as your own. You basically, like, you wear her skin, I guess. You don't have to run around barefoot. Unless this guy has, like, taken all of his points out of his carry weight to level Dex more effectively. I don't know. I don't know, I can almost smell this man from here. That's, that's what it is. I can smell him through my screen. The stench. It's palpable. I can not only smell him, I can taste him. He's like invading all of my senses, nearly. Ah. Oh. oh, we got him. We got him. Big point down for the Dex user, and we're done. Oh no, would you look at that? A snake has bitten me on my penis. You need to suck the venom out quickly, Sir Priest. No, it's not gay. God will look favorably upon you saving me. It's a great sacrifice. Oh what, my wiener is a little too flaccid for you to get your mouth around? Well, don't worry. Even the limpest dicks can still squirt. Don't worry. I don't know what kind of weird fan fiction I just wrote about me in this fucking sorcerer in my head just then, but I know it involves my willy getting whacked, so I'm down for it. I don't know why I try to go for like the... the so basically, this sword, what I keep on doing, if any of you see me like look away from them, and then throw it back like no one ever has before. I'm trying to basically use the old Gale weapon art tech where you like scoop backwards towards them. Like a fucking howler monkey that's been alerted in the jungle by someone throwing a banana at it. I don't know why I'm trying to do that against the sorcerer though, because they need wide open spaces. They're like prairie dogs. Sorcerers cannot fucking operate in closed spaces most of the time. They've gotta have at least like 50 feet of space to panic back roll and aids at you from. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Let's see. Uh, is he gonna turn and burn? Yes, he is. I think I can get... Yep, that's all his stamina. And there it is. I know what emote the fucking mage is getting. That's mostly for the R1 spam, though. When the sun comes up on a sleepy little town Down around San Antonio And the folks are rising for another day Round about their home. Oh shit. The people love the town. I'm trying to sing Doobie Brothers here, my man. Alright, here, hold on. I got just what you need. The Cusby method. Yeah, so this guy is like trying to put the old school Dark Souls 3 Dark Sword spammers to shame with his R1 mashing. This is impressive. I went for a parry and missed it. See, counter hit. Can I parry that? I cannot. My fucking goose has been cooked. Right, so we have to deal with his R1 spam as tactically and effectively as possible. I should probably be dead. Um, I'm gonna go for the weapon art again. That normally works pretty good in Elden Ring PvP, right? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Watch this. He can't get a stand back. <laughs> if you break their guard, they don't have the stand to roll away. It's a confirmed kill. That's, that's it. Uh, GG's R1, man. One more duel in the Rectile Rummaging, and I think we'll have our 10 minute runtime down pat. If my, math's, if my math is right. I didn't really like math in school, so I'll probably have like a 5 minute long video on my hands, but you know. Maybe my calculations will be correct. About 10 duels means t about 10 minutes of fucking footage, right? What the fuck was that? He's like through frisbee with his imaginary son. Again, there's a buff, okay. There's a buff. Okay, there's a buff. We're just doing like up-downs now. We get trying to get like the cardiovascular. Like what's uh... What's going on? That's a solid workout, I'll admit. Oh, that's right. I, I also forgot to mention that this is a Moonvale user, so... I have willingly like submitted myself to CBT. Um, there's the fucking Polyjuice Potion. 
This duel could be like a minute long, and about 45 seconds of it would be buffing. It is impressive. Oh, there goes my shit. But I'm immune to all magic, and it's a good thing I'm immune to fucking magic damage, holy shit. The only thing that matches this man's douche reusing the moon veil is his internet's fucking complete inability to match up with mine. But all of that is dwarfed by my absolute fucking rage! Even the fucking projectiles are lagging, they're supposed to be server side. Oh my god. This might be the greatest point I'll ever face, a laggy moon veil user. Holy dick, Batman. Okay. Oh, and he's like fucking T-posed at me. Like a Power Ranger about to go off to form the Megazord. Jesus. Jesus! Like everything, it's just a guessing game. It's a fucking gamble. This is Skid's final gambit. My word, I wanna make like a- Oh my, what the fuck? I wanna make like a Drifter from D2 reference, but I just- Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and heal since he healed on me. I don't know if any of you saw him heal through all of the fucking lag, but this man straight up drinks some- <laughs> decided to chug some sunny delight. So we have ourselves a laggy Estes chugging moon values. What the fuck are we gonna see next? Like, is he gonna start cheating? Like, I can't really think of what the next step is. What's the next evolution? And, uh, that caught him, apparently. Thank God. Oh! Ooh, fuck.